After years of hiccups and delays, Tesla has eventually come through on one of its biggest promises. Tesla Semi-Truck, a vehicle that was marketed as the future of trucking, has finally hit the consumer market, with Tesla making the first deliveries in the U.S. earlier this month. PepsiCo became the first recipient of the Semi, and Elon Musk had some big words for the EV truck at an event held in Giga, Nevada. If you're a trucker and you want the most badass rig on the road, this is it. But just how badass is it? And what does 2023 hold for Tesla's latest offering? Let's find out in our exclusive 2023 Tesla Semi update. At the Giga Nevada event, Tesla described the Semi as an electric truck that could truly disrupt the trucking industry. And it seems like Tesla followed through on most of its claims made five years earlier when the company first unveiled the vehicle. As expected, the Semi will use a tri-motor setup similar to the Plaid powertrain used in the Model S and Model X cars. Two of these motors can be disengaged when the Semi needs to boost efficiency, and that efficiency was on display just a week before Tesla's unveiling event. Before officially making the first deliveries of the Tesla Semi Class 8 electric truck, Elon Musk had confirmed that Tesla Semi had completed its first 500-mile trip with a full load, which was around 81,000 pounds. It showed that the Semi will come good on its claims of offering the best range. 500 miles is considered just the right range for the U.S. roads, as a brake is mandatory every eight hours for long-haul drivers, and that's when the Semi can be charged without delaying the journey. Musk also unveiled several features that make the Semi the most efficient long-haul vehicle on the road. The truck has traction control to prevent accidents, regenerative braking for increased battery efficiency, and an automatic clutch for seamless highway driving. Tesla has also toyed with the autopilot for the Semi. However, that remains a thing for the future. In the meantime, however, there have been exciting new developments for the Tesla FSD. As for the Semi's efficiency, Elon Musk gave some encouraging numbers. He confirmed that the efficiency currently stands at 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile. The company also claimed that the Semi is two and a half times cheaper to refuel when compared to diesel trucks and can provide around $70,000 of fuel savings every year. Tesla also shared a video of the Tesla Semi to probe its capacity. In the video, the Semi passed a diesel truck at a 6% incline while being fully loaded at 82,000 pounds. The automaker did not confirm the weight of the Tesla Semi, but according to one estimate, it can be somewhere between 27 to 30,000 pounds, giving it the capacity to move about 45,000 pounds of cargo. In another video, Tesla showed the Semi getting tested for reliability and durability. Tesla shared the video on December 13th and claimed that the Tesla engineers tested the Semi in a variety of harsh conditions. The results look impressive as the vehicle can be seen powering through a large puddle. It can also be seen passing over a ladder and driving through dirt and snow. With all of that comes the advantage of being an electric vehicle with fewer moving parts and remote diagnostics, so the operators will spend less time in service centers than diesel trucks. Now that Tesla has sent out the first of its trucks, we'll get to witness how disruptive the semi becomes by the end of 2023. For now, Tesla has started the rollout with PepsiCo. PepsiCo was the earliest Tesla semi customer when they made the first reservations as soon as the vehicle was announced. They were originally going to receive their first trucks by early 2020. However, the delays kicked in and the company has finally received what was promised three years later. For the first batch, PepsiCo will deploy 36 electric trucks from Tesla, with 15 in Modesto and 21 in Sacramento. All of the semis going to PepsiCo will have a 500-mile range, but the company has chosen to haul Frito-Lay food products for more than 400 miles and will do shorter trips of around 100 miles for the heavier products. For the coming year, PepsiCo plans to deploy 100 heavy-duty Tesla semis and will start making deliveries to customers like Walmart and Kroger. To make the transition seamless, PepsiCo is upgrading its plants and installing four Tesla mega charging stalls at both its Modesto and Sacramento factories. Pepsi will also get help from a $15 million California state grant and a $40,000 federal subsidy for laying out the electric truck infrastructure. One detail that Pepsi declined to share was the price of the trucks. Tesla has also kept the price under wraps. What we know is that the competing vehicles are selling for around $250,000. As for Tesla, they had initially set the price of the highest semi-variant at $180,000. 
but the costs have certainly gone up since then, and we can expect the over 200000 price tag at best. Whatever the price, 2023 is all set to be the year for the semi's expansion, and not just in the US, as Tesla eyes other markets in North America. Now that Tesla's first electric semi-trucks are on the road in the States, it seems like the perfect time to start preparing Canada to follow suit. According to a recent article by Tesla Roddy, Tesla has already submitted proposals to Canada to make adjustments in the federal budget for electric vehicles. In a recently submitted letter to Canada's Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance, Christian Freeland, Tesla referred to electric vehicle charging infrastructure and specifically mentioned the importance of such infrastructure for the future of medium and heavy-duty EV transportation. One part of the letter read, to sustainably support increased demand for electrified medium and heavy-duty transportation fleets, adequate charging infrastructure must be available to support short and long-haul transportation routes from coast to coast. The letter also went on to suggest that the Canadian government should work on giving grants to companies making the transition to electric trucks. Tesla made it clear that any company preparing for a switch to electric trucks needs all the support it can get when it comes to charging infrastructure. Before delivering any trucks, Tesla wants to ensure that the charging infrastructure is already well established because the trucks can't go into service without it. Tesla's request to Canada is also urgent because some of Tesla's semi-trucks have already been reserved by Canadian companies. Mosaic Management from Vancouver has ordered three Tesla semi-trucks for logging activities. Mosaic has that reservation for a pilot program to test the performance of the semi in the log hauling sector. If all goes to plan, Mosaic plans to electrify its fleet of 300 trucks in the future. Canada is just one of the destinations with some exciting Tesla semi-related activities. According to the major Mexican publisher, Milenio, Tesla could soon announce its first automotive assembly plant in Mexico. The automaker is said to be acquiring land in Nuevo León, a Mexican state bordering Texas, where they will produce the new semi. Elon Musk has already held a meeting in Mexico with Nuevo León Governor Samuel Garcia. Ken Salazar, the U.S. ambassador to Mexico, was also present in the meeting that focused on future Tesla investments in the country. With so much planned for 2023, Tesla has not lost sight of the basics and is also working actively to spread out the charging infrastructure specifically for the semi. During the PepsiCo event, Musk reminded everyone that Tesla has developed a new liquid-cooled charging connector capable of delivering one megawatt of direct current power. He also spoke of plans to shift the current supercharging infrastructure to solar power and get rid of the electric grid dependency. As for the mega charger, Musk also revealed that it will be used for the upcoming Cybertruck. However, the mega charger was specifically designed for the semi's huge power needs. The mega charger is designed to deliver three times the current density of a supercharger and can recharge the semi's battery to 70% in 30 minutes. Tesla will now turn focus on making the mega charging infrastructure more extensive in 2023, and that's before they expand the Tesla semi production. According to the news coming out so far, Tesla is targeting 100 semis this year, with the current production equipment capable of producing just 250 more next year. Most of the attention in 2023 will be going towards launching the Cybertruck and expanding the charging network. However, there are big plans for 2024, with Tesla aiming to ramp up the semi-production to 50,000 trucks annually. Tesla has finally delivered the Tesla Semi, and all signs point to a major disruption in the trucking industry. But for that to happen, the transition needs to be swift and needs to go hand-in-hand -hand with the charging infrastructure. At the moment, most companies don't have the right grid installed for these powerful trucks. As electric trucks become commonplace, power sources will also need to evolve. According to a study by National Grid, meeting the power needs of the big semi-trucks would require a similar amount of power as a small town by 2035. So, Tesla is essentially in a race to not just produce more trucks, but to also help with the infrastructure that comes with it. The Tesla Semi is out now, but its success will depend on many other factors, and Tesla now has a big challenge on its hands. They want to be the leader of the trucking industry, they want to reduce the emission burden from diesel trucks, and they want to complete the transition to electric trucks as early as possible. However, a lot of planning and work needs to go into it, and Elon Musk will do well to juggle SpaceX, Tesla, and Twitter over the next year. Speaking of next year, check out how Tesla's Cybertruck plan is panning out for next year in this video right here.